All right, guys, bittersweet day back from holidays, but in the mail waiting for me today, a couple of packages, and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, and I'm gonna use a serious buck knife. This is a present from my sister and her husband on their wedding day. Very nice buck knife. This one doesn't come out hardly at all. Traditional, as I believe, is a Bowie knife, but the buck, the traditional buck. So we're gonna get serious. Open this up. Yeah, not much of a give there. I've been anticipating this. This was a giveaway put off by Toxic Nados, and this is the win. We've got a strap, the roll. The wind was causing me some issues, and I had to cut that first part of the video short. So I'm going to pick it up here, and uh, the wind has calmed down a little bit, and I've taken some shelter. Um, what I had there was the watch roll from Terry at Toxic NATO. So if I go through this again for a little bit, this is a canvas watch roll fabric, canvas outside, super smooth inside from Terry there. It was part of the uh, giveaway. Man, I'm still super stoked about that. Uh, just a big thank you for Terry at Toxic NATO for putting that off. And uh, I was lucky enough to pick it up. So inside this watch roll was a NATO strap from Terry. Uh, and the Toxic Crew. The um, so if you haven't checked out Toxic Nados, head over there at Toxic Nados. Uh, Terry uh, is a veteran, a U.S. veteran, and it's a veteran-owned, veteran-run business. So go over there and give them some support. Uh, after seeing this particular watch strap already, uh, I know that I'll become a customer in the very near future. As inside this also was a surfer watch, but uh, the watch was on the strap. So, uh, Skirfa watch strap uh, seems to be pretty good quality. It's got uh, the uh, genuine rubber uh, stamped on the inside. I think this is going to be a quality watch strap also. I like the uh, just slightly different design to it than uh, I've seen on other watch straps. I uh, like that big uh, tongue there for the uh, clasp. So you can see that's going to be decent. Um, so I did have a chance to set the watch since the video uh, previous there with the boxes and, uh, and the wind when I had to cut it short. And uh, what I'm realizing is out there in the sun, this particular, I think it's a double domed sapphire crystal, it's uh, going to cause me some problems in that bright daylight. So uh, now I've got a bit of shade and uh, I'm not much of a cameraman, but this is much better now than before. So, details that I know right now as part of this unboxing this is a 40 millimeter uh, side to side it's a 20 miller 20 millimeter lug width uh, this is a black PVD coated case aluminum insert for the bezel 120 click rotating bezel there is absolutely no back play in the bezel whatsoever uh, the loom loom pip loomed hands loomed lollipop on the second all the indices are loomed and i'm not sure if it's quite noticeable in the uh, video but it's got a patina to it a certain patina uh, to it one second give it a little wipe again and um, already uh, between doing the videos uh, i've had it inside the house for a moment and the loom already is uh, showing uh, in the daylight really so I'm sure it's going to be a great um, a great loom on this watch it's a C3 Super Luminova according to their website so uh, a shout out to Terry for the giveaway uh, big thanks uh, so happy that I won this and a big shout out to Scurfa watches this has a uh, a Swiss uh, Ronda quartz movement inside of it and um, boy I'm looking forward to getting this one on the wrist and checking it out for a while. 
Swap C acid here at the back side of it. 300 meter uh, de depth uh, water resistance. So yeah, there you go. And as uh, I'll come back with another uh, review of it, maybe at another time. Uh, six months, one year wearing it, seeing what it's like, how it's holding up. The uh, D1, there you go. It's a Scurfa uh, Diver 1. You'll see Diver 1 there at 6 o'clock. Scurfa Watch is up there at 12. This is a no date. Uh, they do have date options if you're looking for it, and they also have automatics on the website if you're looking for it. But that D1 there in the uh, crown. Crown's quite easy to uh, grip uh, by comparison. Uh, what I've noticed over time with my Orient is that uh, I do find the Orient a little tougher to get a hold of when it comes to uh, changing any times or dates. It does seem a little tougher. So if I stack these up and take a look at them for a second. You can see the difference in that crown size. And that becomes obvious then as to why I'm having more difficulties grabbing the crown on the Orient than on the uh, Scurfa. So these design details, as I look at the watches more often now, are becoming more obvious to me. Some of the um, challenges with different watch designs. I really do like that Orient, but I do find the crown, if it was just a little larger, Right around the crown guards that would be great so back to the scurfa i think they're uh, they are making a pretty cool product get over to their website check it out support them if you're in the market take a look at what they're offering over there uh, i'm pretty impressed so far instantly like it uh, i think it does have some uh, design uh, cues and throwouts throwbacks to uh, some vintage uh, dare i say rolexes and other divers uh, you sort of can't miss it, I don't think, but uh, definitely has a lot of its own. Uh, so, well, thanks again to the guys at uh, Toxic Nails Terry there, and the guys at Scurfa. I'm not sure if it was uh, something they were working together or not. I wasn't quite sure there on the Instagram page, but I thought I'd take the time and do my own video uh, for uh, this unboxing. All right, guys. Have a great day. If you like uh, the content, please like it.